Well, hello again, girls and boys. Uh, we're back with the back side of lesson one in our module two problem set. Didn't get a chance to finish it the last time we met because there is, you know, there's a lot to this and we want to make sure that we're understanding it, getting it, and doing a good job uh, throughout the whole thing. So we're going to um, start fresh today. Uh, we're going to read the directions, read the problems, work our way through it. Teachers, feel free to pause this at any moment and just um, explain uh, further any way you can about next, uh, metric measurement uh, using uh, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Okay, so here we go. We've got our mindset. We're ready to go, um, and we're going to problem solve today. So use a tape diagram to model each problem, okay? That's what I'm going to do first. Then solve using a simplifying strategy or an algorithm and write your answer as a statement. So the second thing we're going to do is basically solve the problem. Okay, that simplifying thing is, if you remember from last time we were here, we had to um, make kilometers into meters. So you can only add and subtract um, like um, units. Right, I, uh, they have to be meters minus meters or kilometers minus kilometers, okay? I can't subtract kilometers and meters together, okay? I have to convert one to the other, okay? Using an algorithm is just like the standard method, okay? And then third, we have to write our answer as a statement, okay? We're, we're familiar with that. So let's tackle these problems together. Um, and, you know, stay, try to stay one step ahead and raise your hand, ask questions if at all you get confused, okay? Or if you zone out, you miss something, I'll let the teacher know and we'll re say it, refocus, okay? So here we go. Number four, the length of Carter's driveway is 12 meters, 38 centimeters, period, stop. All right, 12 meters, 38 centimeters. I can see this is mixed units, meters and centimeters, okay? There's 100 centimeters in one meter. His, his neighbor's driveway is four meters, 99 centimeters longer how long is his neighbor's driveway? Okay. So what we're gonna do is draw a tape diagram, okay, first. So Carter's driveway is here. Okay, so let me put that on Carter's driveway as a C. And we're going to give a little tape diagram for that. And the length of his is 12 meters, 38 centimeters. 38 centimeters, okay? Just like that. Now his neighbor's driveway is four meters, 99 centimeters longer. So his neighbor's driveway is basically the same length as this, plus an extra four meters, 99 centimeters longer, okay? So this is also 12 meters, 38 centimeters. Now, some people would just add this onto Carter's driveway here. I decided to show you uh, neighbors and Carters side by side or up and down here. So number one, I showed a tape model diagram to model this problem. Now the second time, what I need to do is add these up. So I'm going to add them up like this. I'm going to say 12 meters, 38 centimeters. Okay, here's my work that I'm showing. And down here, I'm going to show four meters, 99 centimeters, okay? So I'm gonna add those up. Now I want you to notice here, I put together, let me zoom in a little bit. I'm seeing I'm pretty far away here. So let me zoom in on this. I lined up my meters and I lined up my centimeters. I have to do them separately because they're different size units. So I have to do each one of them separately, okay? So let's focus in on the math here. So let's start with the centimeters. Eight plus nine is 17. I put down the seven, carry the one. One and nine is 10, plus three, that's 13. So it's 137 centimeters. Over here, I've got 12 meters plus four meters. Well, that is 16 meters. Now, what do you notice with this 137 centimeters? What I notice is that there's at least 100 centimeters, which means I can make another meter out of it, okay? So I'm going to convert this. I'm gonna take this 100 centimeters and make it another meter. So I'm gonna turn this into 17 meters. 
17 meters and 37, oops, 37 centimeters. So you see how I did that? I took my 137 centimeters, took 100 off of this one because 100 centimeters makes one meter, made that 17 meters and 37 centimeters, just like that. Now the final thing I need to do, and that was simplifying it right here is what I simplified it, okay? Now I need to write my answer as a statement, and I can do that. So it says, how long is his neighbor's driveway? Carter's, oops, Carter's neighbor's driveway is 17 meters, 37 centimeters long, period. Okay, all right, that was kind of fun. Let's try the next one. I'm gonna slide up here a little bit. All right, let's read this sentence by sentence, stop at each sentence to make sure we understand what we're reading. Okay, so Enya, or Anya, walked two kilometers, 309 meters from school to the store, period, stop. I'm gonna go back and look at this here. This here shows two kilometers, 309 meters. So if I remember correctly, oops, I got a box in that meters as well. There's a thousand meters to one kilometer. And I remember uh, kilometers from Shaker Road all the way to Scoops. All right, so she walked that far from the school to the store. Then she walked from the store to her home. Okay, then she walked from the store to her home. So she went from the school to the store, and that was that far. Then she walked from the store to her home. Okay. If she walked a total of five kilometers, how far was it from the store to her home? Okay, so she walked a total of this amount. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this out as a tape diagram. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, draw my tape diagram right here. And I'm going to write my total distance, which is five kilometers. First, put down my total, T for total. That was five kilometers. So she walked this total distance of five kilometers, okay? All right. Now, I know that she walked from school to the store. All right, so from school to the store would be here. And that was, how far was that? Oh, two kilometers, 309 meters. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Now, what I need to find, let me change colors here, is how far was it from the store to, the, for, to her home? Okay, so that's my variable. I need to know how far that was. Okay, so the total was five kilometers. This was from the store here. This was from actually school to the store. And now I need to find the store to home. Okay, so if you're thinking what I'm thinking, if I take the total here and subtract this amount, I'm going to find out how far it was from the store to the home. All right, now this one's going to be interesting. So what I need to do here is I need to set up a, um, a subtraction problem, I think. So what I see here is I have 5 kilometers minus 2 kilometers, 309 meters, okay? So there's my problem right there. Now, what do you notice about this area above there? I notice there's no numbers there, so I need to make I need to make some numbers there. So what I need to do is I need to borrow from the kilometers area. Okay, so I need to borrow. So I'm gonna take this pen, and I need to get some numbers here so I can subtract. So I'm gonna borrow a kilometer. Just take one and leave four kilometers. Now, I got one kilometer, I need to convert it to, a meet, uh, to meters. So what is that one kilometer equal to? If you said a thousand meters, you are correct. So a thousand meters would go right there, just like that, okay? So what I converted five kilometers to was four kilometers and 1,000 meters. See how that works? So now I can subtract, now I've got enough numbers here, okay? So here we go. Zero minus nine, I can't do that. So I have to come so all the way out here to the one to borrow from the ones place. 
Now, I could borrow, add, borrow, add. What I'm gonna do is just box these three numbers to the left. Cross that out and make it 99. That's 100 right there, right? And then put my skinny one in there. So I've got 10 minus nine is one, nine minus zero is nine, nine minus three is six, 609 meters. And over here, I've got four minus two kilometers, and that's two kilometers. So it looks like I found out what my distance is from the store to the home, right there, okay? So that was my second part. Now my third part is write it out as a sentence. All right, so what I'm gonna do is say, how far was it from the store to home? It was two kilometers, 691 meters from the store to Anya, Anya's home. I like using the uh, characters' names in my responses. That should be a lowercase a, a, h, so. All right, I did it. That's all done. Perfect, feeling good today. All right, let's slide up and do the next one. Okay, so if any moment, teachers, you wanna pause and or, or stop and have the kids do these on their own or you do them with them, uh, feel free, absolutely. So, Rachel has a rope, five meters, 32 centimeters long, that she cut into two pieces, period, stop. Okay, so she's got a rope that's this long, and she cut it into two pieces. All right, I can see that in my head, all right? It's kind of like a jump rope I'm seeing in my head, maybe one of those long ones. One piece is, whoops, keep on knocking this around here, is 249 centimeters long, okay. How many centimeters long is the other piece of rope? Okay, so let's draw the whole piece of rope first. So we're gonna draw the rope here. So this is Rachel's rope. And we're gonna write as tape diagram. And the whole piece of rope was five meters, 32 centimeters long. And she cut it to two pieces. And that first piece she cut it in is 249 centimeters, All right? And the second piece is right here, and we don't know what that length is. And that's what we need to find out, how, how the second row. So this is the first row, and this is the second row, okay? All right, so now, um, so I see here, what operation do you think we need to do? If you said subtraction, you are right. Okay, so here we go. So five meters, 32 centimeters, minus 249 centimeters. Oops, there, forgot the centimeters up top. Okay, so if you're noticing the same thing I'm noticing here, is it says 32 minus 249. And guess what I can't do? I cannot do that, okay? Because that one's not, this, this number's not big enough. So I need to borrow um, from the meter, okay? So let's do that. Oh, let me write down my line. Get that going here, okay? Okay, so this is what we have. We have five meters, 32 centimeters, and 249 centimeters, minus 249 centimeters. So I'm noticing right off the bat that what I need to do here is that I'm going to take these 200 centimeters right here. See how this is 249 centimeters? I'm gonna make some meters out of that, okay? So I'm gonna bring over here Take these two and make these two meters, just like that. So I'm gonna cross this out and make that two meters. So I'm left here with 49 centimeters. See how that works? Okay. Now, what I need to do is do 32 minus 49. I can't do that. I can't do 32 minus 49. So the second thing I need to do is take one of these meters and change it, exchange it in for some centimeters. So I'm gonna do that. I am going to cross out the five, leave four, make 100 centimeters and bring it over there. So now what I have is 132 minus 49, and I can do that, okay? This one's quite tricky, that's for sure. So let's get to work. Two minus nine, I can't do it. Cross out the three, leave two. 12 minus nine, I can do, that's three. Two minus four, can't do it. 
cross out the 1, leave 0, make it a 12 minus 4 is 8. That's 83 centimeters. And then over here, I've got 4 minus 2 meters. Well, that is 2 meters. So it looks like the second rope is 2 meters, 83 centimeters long. Okay, 2 meters, 83 centimeters long. Yep, okay. So I have to write my sentence. Sentence says, how many centimeters long is the other piece of rope? The other piece of rope is 2 meters, 83 centimeters long. Okay? Now, there's another way I could have done this. I could have just made this 5 meters, 32 centimeters, all into centimeters, okay? Could have made that whole thing into centimeters and just did uh, 532 centimeters minus 249 centimeters. And that might have been an easier way to do that, okay? Um, and we could show you that on the board. Teachers could show you how to convert that and do it that way. All right. So second, or the last one here is all about Jason. And Jason rode his bike 529 fewer meters than Allison, period, stop. Okay, so Jason rode his bike 529 fewer meters than Allison. Okay, so less. Okay, and then Jason rode this far, one kilometer, 850 meters. How many meters did Allison ride? Okay, so this one's tricky. We gotta understand what this fewer means, okay? So let's write down the bar for Jason because we know how long Jason's bar should be. So Jason's bar, or piece of tape, is one kilometer, 850 meters, okay? So that's how far he rode. But he rode 529 meters le um, less than Allison. So Allison... Um, Allison rode further. Allison rode 529 meters further. Okay? See how that works? So Allison rode that much further because Jason rode this much less. Okay. So how many meters did Allison ride? So I'm going to add this 529 to this. Let's try this again. So I've got 850 meters one kilometer, 850 meters, plus 529 meters. So let's add these up. So I've got zero plus nine is nine. Oh, let me change my colors here. Five plus two is seven. Eight plus five is 13. So it's 1,379 meters and then one kilometer. Okay, so. I got one kilometer, 1,379 meters. I'm noticing here that I've got a thousand, at least I got over a thousand meters. So this thousand, I'm gonna turn into one kilometer. So this turns into two kilometers, 379 meters, just like that, okay? So what I have is now left with the sentence. How many meters did Allison ride? Allison, Allison rode two kilometers, 379 meters, period. Okay, and that concludes today's uh, lesson on this, all right? So um, after this, hopefully uh, you can do maybe do some whiteboard work with your teachers or uh, uh, do some eye ready today, all right? But uh, good job. We're going to continue working with this. Uh, the next time we meet. All right. See you guys later.